What's up, guys? Brian here with Audio Plugin Deals. You might notice we have a new format today. So I've got that uh, sitting, standing desk. I've totally redone the studio. So pardon all the mess behind me. It's still in process. So anyway, today, let's check out the Eventide Mixing Bundle. It's $99.99. Three really cool plugins. Let's check it out. All right, guys, so let's check out the Eventide Mixing Bundle. So if we go to our product page, we can see this comes with three different products, H3000 Band Delays, Ultra Reverb, and Precision Time Align. Now, they each do different things. I think the H3000 Band Delays and the Ultra Reverb are the most exciting. Um, H3000 Band Delay Industries. So, like, if you get that comment below now what I'm gonna do is put it on this pad here all I did with this pad I added the ultra reverb and so we're gonna experiment see how big and you know how realistic we can get that reverb to be and then on this base here I've added the h3000 and that kind of is a delay but with you know some frequency shifting effects and it can get some really cool rhythmic rhythmic effects as well so for this pad sound, I've turned off all the convolution inside the plugin itself, so it is dry. So when I hit stop, you know, it, there's no fade out, no, no tail or anything. So I'm going to turn on the ultra reverb, we're going to hear what that sounds like. So there, I mean, it can do, you know, plate, shimmer, hall reverbs and you know you can get something very realistic with it or you can really kind of ramp it up and get something you know really huge and crazy so i like the eventide stuff a lot you know i use the black hole reverb all the time if you guys ever see me um you know make any track pretty much any sound design or synth i add the black hole reverb to it and we also did their quadravox uh, plug in a while back in a live stream um so i like that they have a lot of presets as well let's check out some of the presets so you can see here we have halls rooms chambers plates ambience environments delays instruments and then all of these kind of custom built uh you know presets by these different engineers or artists based on what you want to achieve so there's a lot to really to cover let's check out some of like the environments kind of the crazy stuff here So we're slowly starting to get kind of bigger and bigger with the, you know, the room or the environment that the space is meant to emulate. It's still going. I can still hear it. Um, so that one was called Enchanted Windy Forest. You could hear there's like, you know, a wind sound. There's kind of an undulating um, kind of pitch shifting sound as well or pitch shifting effect. Um, again, kind of crazy and experimental. Here's a glacier. So again, that was a very long tail and it kind of had a kind of, you know, a very experimental kind of magical type sound with it. Um, so while I've shown you some of those, some of the really huge crazy ones, we'll also show you 
um, some of like the more realistic hall sounds and stuff. We could even put these like on, you know, piano or strings or something like that or guitar and get a really nice natural ambience to it. So I'm going to load up a different instrument, one that's more realistic, not a synth, and we'll see how it sounds. So now I've got some horns loaded up and they're very dry. This is what I use the tight and the close and dry preset. So very dry, no tail, very, very little tail. Um, I'm going to turn on the ultra reverb. This is just on like the default setting, which is a chamber sound. And you get a very nice, beautiful, um, you know, chamber sound. It sounds like a nice, intimate hall. Um, let's go to the large hall. So you can adjust the decay time, the room size, all that different kind of stuff. You can really go in. You can just choose a preset and kind of use panning to put your instruments inside that space and then apply the same reverb to it and kind of glues them all together if they are dry instruments. Really, really useful stuff. And the fact that you have so many different um, you know, halls, chambers, rooms, environments, really, really cool because you can do very realistic, um, you know, natural spaces, or you can just do the, those crazy sound design, um, experimental uh, spaces. If you guys have had interest in the black hole reverb that I use all the time, this is a very good thing to also buy because you can get some very, very massive sounds as well by using the different, you know, the environments and, and the experimental effects and all that stuff. Really cool. Let's go on to the H3000 band delay. Um, I have trouble saying that, I think. Band, band delay. Now, that's a very experimental effect as well. So I'm, this is what my bass sounds like. Now, I'm going to, it's a bit quiet. I'm going to turn on the H3000 and see what it does to that. So you can hear a very rhythmic, experimental type sound. Now, again, tons of presets. Um, we'll just start with the legacy presets and you know, kind of scroll through, see what uh, different sounds we can get. So it was just adjusting a, you know, a little bit of right here, which is the delay time, that knob right there. Um, you can hear how this one kind of has, you know, again, a more experimental sound. And by adjusting that delay time, you can get kind of a very like quick, almost kind of laser uh, effect type sound. And then you can slow it down and get a more, you know, trippy rhythmic type effect. But as you'll notice from the presets I've played so far, this. Uh, obviously by the name band delays this is a lot of frequency shifting as well and you can really hear that you can also go in and eliminate that and you know filter out the frequencies you don't want as well
So you can hear the, you know, as I'm kind of messing with the controls, the different uh, elements that you can kind of customize. You can also record your own automation for those different dials. Um, the frequencies have a, you know, a sweep up or sweep down, adjust the delay time. You can have it sync to your DOS tempo or you can have it just, you know, freeform and adjust the delay time. Um, specifically and get some kind of weird results like that as well um, again you can see the amount of presets we have and you also heard when I adjusted that panning the panning is normally to 100% it's gonna ping pong back and forth from the right and left channels so you can really um, turn that down completely right there of course so let's check out a little bit more of the presets and then we'll move on I want to put it on another instrument so you can hear what it sounds like on a more pure sound source since that was kind of a, you know, a fairly gritty uh, synth bass. I'm going to put it on this xylophone and we'll check out some presets that way. So you can hear the kind of different experimental effects that you can get with it. Um, it's easier to hear it with that xylophone than with the synth bass. But I did want to show the synth bass kind of what you can get with the sound design and adding mostly like the rhythm and movement to those. Now also remember like the pitch shifting effects, they can be fairly extreme. So you can turn down, you know, you adjust the frequency and turn, um, you know, adjust the resonance of that as well and turn those down if it's a bit too much for you. Finally, we have the precision time align, which is a very basic plugin 
Precision Time Align, all it does is adjust your sample's timing, um, you know, very fine tuning it. If you have a double track that is, you know, phases each other out, you can put on the Precision Time Align and very, very slightly make those little micro adjustments and get those back out of phase. There's a really good video about that right here on the deal page, how to fix audio phasing with Eventide Precision Time Align. Check that out because it's not as exciting for me to cover that. They explain it better than I do. Really, I just like to show you guys kind of the out of the box presets and the experimental sound design things you can get with the reverb and with the H3000. Also, with the reverb, you can get some really nice, beautiful, realistic halls as well. If you need a reverb for orchestral music, for adding to guitar, vocals, anything like that, this is a really good one to pick. So guys, that has been a quick look at the Eventide mixing bundle. Eventide is an amazing company, and it's really cool to be able to get any of their plugins for such a low price, especially a great reverb and a kind of experimental, you know, band shifting delay such as the H3000. So do not miss this one. If you guys have, you know, you like the black hole reverb that I use a lot, this ultra reverb is a really good alternative to start with, and it covers more ground too. It's much more versatile. So thanks so much for checking this one out with me hope you like the new uh standing format and the new uh studio under construction again thanks for bearing with me with that with the whole mess in the background i will see you guys soon remember to like the video if you want to support us and make sure to subscribe turn on those notifications so you know when we go live with our giveaways and you could win 50 dollars to the audio plug into the shop thanks so much i'll see you next time